And today, the new news corporation, shorn of its highly profitable global film and television empire, rebadged its Australian arm. News Limited has become News Corp Australia. Most of its major newspapers have now joined the Australian and the Herald Sun by putting up their own paywalls. It's fashionable among some, especially younger consumers, to scoff at the so-called legacy media. They've never paid for news, they say, and never will. But here is a very small sample of the stories that the mainstream commercial media have broken in the past five years. For years, Graham Reeves was allowed to practice, despite a series of horrific incidents and complaints from hospitals and patients. And even now, the health watchdogs say they can't or won't investigate him. Desperate hours of island rape victim. The community police officer on the island was not prepared to walk around to the crime scene in the rain. Revealed the RBA's dodgy global deals. Securency Proprietary Limited, half owned by the Reserve Bank of Australia, has made a substantial number of commission payments to agents, including some previously implicated in corruption scandals. Exposed. Obede's secret harbour deal. Former Minister Eddie Obede's family has controlled some of Circular Quay's most prominent publicly owned properties by hiding its interests behind a front company. Those stories were by Ross Coulthard of Nine's Sunday program, now with Seven's Sunday Night. The Australians, Tony Kosh. The Ages, Richard Baker and Nick McKenzie. The Sydney Morning Herald's, Linton Besser and the incomparable Kate McClymont. They're some of the handful of real investigative journalists still working for Australia's commercial media. The work they do requires time and money and the willingness to risk huge costs incurred fighting battles in the courts. More generally, the stories broken in the mainstream media provide us with our talking points, with the raw material that holds our society together. The ABC and SBS are valuable institutions, but they can't and shouldn't do that job on their own. So my parting plea is this. Whatever your politics or your preferences, and even if you've never bought a newspaper, Start subscribing to at least one media website. Whether it's the Herald Sun or New Matilda, Crikey or the Sydney Morning Herald, old media or new, pay just a little to keep real journalism alive. Media Watch regularly shows you the worst, but the best, I still believe, is worth paying for. That's it from me. My thanks to the Media Watch team. They've been a real pleasure to work with and especially to my executive producer, Lynn Buckfield. To the ABC's senior management, who've unfailingly supported us, however uncomfortable we sometimes make their lives, and who've never once interfered in the choices we make. And of course, to you, our loyal and mostly appreciative viewers. Next week, Paul Barry will be in this chair. He's one of this country's most experienced journalists, and he doesn't scare easily. You'll be in very good hands. And now from me, good night and goodbye.